भारतीय जनता पार्टी नागालैंड पर आज झारखंड कांग्रेस लीडर और राज्यसभा एमपी धीरज साहू लगा घोटे इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट पर रुपीज टू हंड्रेड क्रोर ओपोर अनकाउंटेड कैश रिकवर्ड कुरे ओपोर कांग्रेस पार्टी के सवाल उठाई से टाइखान चुपचाप थे निम्ते आज प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस से नेशनल महिला मोर्चा प्रेसिडेंट वनाटी श्रीनिवासन और एडवाइजर एंड स्टेट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट क्रोपोल विचुपरा कांग्रेस पार्टी के कंडेम करी कोरप पॉलिटिक्स प्रैक्टिस करिया ऊपर आई बी डिटेल सब वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल मीडिया फ्रेंड्स एंड हियर यस्टरडे वी हैव अटेंडेड आवर महिला मोर्चा इवेंट अलोंग विथ अदर नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ महिला मोर्चा of uh, preparing ourselves for a special outreach program for coming parliament election and uh, first of all i would like to congratulate uh, the people of nagaland for uh, passing the bill of giving 33% reservation in urban local bodies for more than 20 years what the other women of the states or or enjoying and uh, uh, contributing that is being denied to the women of nagaland and uh, uh, first time uh, bjp has uh, given an opportunity to women of nagaland to be appointed as a member of rajya sabha and uh, since she is being a magila morcha president in the past as a national president uh, there was a happiest moment in my life two years before when i came here that time only i came to know that there is no reservation for women here in nagaland and now the the passage of time and the mindset of the people of nagaland has made it possible that uh, the assembly has passed a bill of giving reservation to women in urban local bodies and uh, now the women of nagaland they need not lag behind and uh, they can also take part in the women led development policy of uh, honorable prime minister narendra modi ji and as a president of mahila morcha and uh, uh, and also a person from a ruling party it is uh, our commitment to the women of nagaland that has been fulfilled Uh, by now and uh, we uh, state unit of magila morcha are also preparing ourselves to take that opportunity meaningfully and uh, uh, yesterday in the meeting uh, we were discussing about how we can uh, prepare the grassroots level how we can uh, hand hold the grassroots level women leaders to take the the future opportunity of serving the state in a better way from the women's perspective and uh, from yesterday we could see that in many media news that crores of money it is being uh, seized by the income tax department from a, a congress rajya sabha mp that is shocking that uh, even the machines are broken down and the, there is no sufficient bags to take that money because that is above the imagination of the income tax department and uh, it is uh, the biggest ever uh, recovery of uh, money of this quantity in the recent uh, searches that uh, it is more than 300 crores even now the counting is going on after demonetization the congress and the indi alliance partners they were criticizing honorable modi ji for the demonetization and they were saying that where is the black money where is the proof for it they were putting all these questions towards the central government and modi ji now where are they why they are silent from yesterday no one from indi alliance leaders they are saying anything about this searches about the recovery it is not that first time the congress leaders 
even in the recent past a, a huge recovery has been done in bangalore is a very close associate of a congress leader it's uh, it comes around 42 crores and uh, july mamta banerjee's government that parts chatterjee amount of 50 crores have been recovered from his house along with other gold and delhi Satyendra Jain, 2.82 crore cash along with 133 gold coins. And in Jharkhand, the government officials' houses, it's more than 20 crore cash. After demonetization, everyone knows that whatever cash, the cash transaction that is taking place, but uh, the entire India is moving towards the digital transaction. What is the need of keeping this much of amount in an almaras of a Congress leaders. What is the necessity for it? Congress leader Raghul Gandhi is saying about Mahbood Ke Dukan. So where is the scope for this uh, uh, amount of money? Then where is the need for keeping this much of amount and that too a person Dheeraj Sahu present uh, sitting MP of Rajya Sabha how why he has been given this position twice he has last and from 2010 he has been accommodated as a Rajya Sabha MP by the Congress and he has been seen as a very close associate of a Congress leader, Rahul Gandhi ji and Sonia Gandhi ji. And every time this kind of searches are happening, the Congress and India Alliance partners are saying that even they went to the extent of making a derogatory remarks about the agencies as they are the dogs of central government. But after demonetization, the IT department or the enforcement directorate, when they are recovering such a huge cash, there is nothing wrong in this country of doing a, a lawful business, of making crores of money. The constitution is uh, giving a right, a constitutional right, fundamental right to do any business legally and making a, any good money out of your legal business. But uh, what is the need of keeping this much of cash amount? That too, particularly during the election time, whether it is a Karnataka election, or in Telangana election, or in Jharkhand, or in Chhattisgarh, why this much of amount is being stashed in their houses or in the offices? What is the purpose of it? What is an answer from the Indi Alliance partner? You are saying that politically motivated searches are happening. Okay, if you say that, if it is politically motivated, what is your answer for the recovery of money? But nobody is answering it. All these Indi Alliance partners are not only known for their dynasty politics, they are being known for their corrupt politics also. In the past, when the BJP was saying about Congress Muk Bharat, we were not telling about a particular political ideology or a party. Congress means corruption. Now Congress means cash. What is the need for a cash? For which purpose you are using that? How you got this much of amount? That's why yesterday Honorable Prime Minister was saying about each penny has to be returned back to public. That is Modiji's guarantee. Because of that only, now the three state election, the people have voted in favor of Modiji and BJP. This is the guarantee. This is the guarantee of Modiji of giving free ration to the poor families. It is Modiji's guarantee of giving back to the people 
by way of infrastructure development of constructing roads bridges giving new railway station airports and it is a modi's guarantee of giving assistance to the poor farmers and it is modi's guarantee of making the women of this country empowered by way of giving crores of connections accounts houses and good water tap connections when on one side this corrupt dynast politics are happening with the nd alliance partners and on other hand modi ji and bjp government is giving a transparent efficient honest government an empathetic government too even uh, the the russian president he was saying about that anything compromising the interest of india nothing could be done with honorable prime minister we cannot expect anything of threatening or blackmailing within any terms but it is not only the first time the russian president has made a statement about our honorable pm even the several leaders across the globe they are appreciating our honorable pm for taking india forward in a developmental path so in the coming parliament election bharatiya janata party would take up all this corrupt politics dynasty politics of indi alliance they could not able to do the sheet sharing even the recent five state election how they can form a government at the center as they they are dreaming of defeating modi ji that could not be or should not happen in this country for the sake of development of this country and that what happened because our people of india are having a faith and confidence on our honorable pm this uh, searches of the it department or any agencies that would happen in future also whoever is having the black money whoever is having the corrupt money they are answerable to the people of this country and bjp's government is determined in eradication the corrupt practices in the system honorable modi ji is working towards it our madam srinivasan ji has <coughs> explained almost explained everything in detail and on my part on hearing this news though i do not know uh, other references or other related matters but on hearing this corruption of this much magnitude to the tune of 300 plus crores stashed in one's house this is unimaginable and condemnable our <coughs> it department on searching the suspicious <coughs> house of the honorable rajya sabha mp mr sahu they found that huge amount of 300 crore and from which source he could stash that much amount in his hand is still unknown but he is answerable to that and uh, it is presumed that this congress <laughs> mp has collected uh illegally of that huge amount from the innocent and common public people so the sufferers and the victims are the common citizens of india we as a state bjp on hearing that very news are really feeling shock and uh, we stand to condemn that huge corruption or any of uh, such corruption committed by anybody 
and particularly by this Mr. Uh, Sahu, uh, Rajya Sabha MP, very recently. And uh, not only the state BGP of Nagaland alone, but citizens of Naga people and citizens of Indians, we all should stand together to condemn uh, such uh, corruption co committed by a responsible and uh, uh, law-making body uh, personality. So <clears throat> this has to do with, not only with the Congress, it has a connection with the Indy bloc also, Indy alliance. We know Congress is a dynastic political party. This dynastic political party had been running the country for years together. And imagine if an MP of that caliber, of that status can manipulate this much money from the public, then over the years, because they ran the government for decades together, then can we, uh, we can easily imagine how much uh, corruption they have met and how much wealth they might have accumulated. At any given opportunity, this dynastic political party, that is the Congress, is trying to give accusation to the BGP, who is in authority in Delhi, on these uh, corruption issues. But without having any proof, and all their says, their statements are still found to be baseless. Blindly, they are accusing the BGP uh, legislators, parliamentarians, and the government. But now, what reality has come up? That has surfaced out in the person of Mr. Sahu, who has committed the crime, and this <coughs> Uh, should not be ignored by the people of India. And as guaranteed, though he has committed the crime of, this, uh, of that magnitude, huge amount, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, he has guaranteed, he has assured to his people, that is ourselves, that all the money collected and staged by Mr. Sahu on proper, after proper questioning will be returned back to the individuals of the common people. That assurance he has given, and I really appreciate and stand by that. So <clears throat> this, uh, in my conclusion, I would request everyone that it is worth condemn condemning, so let us all condemn this uh, corruption case committed by the uh, Rajya Sabha MP, Mr. Diraj Sahu.